welcome back to my channel and this is gonna be this month's monthly quad we are in june which is it's a bit weird it's like the sixth month half of the year has already passed it's so weird this quad is a bit later this <laughs> this month than it has been before i think maybe maybe not but it feels like it because i've been abroad i've had some vacation time so I've been slacking with planning a bit, that's basically it. I did have a vote up last month on what brand you wanted me to pick some shades from and the brand that won was Nabla. Nabla shades are a bit bigger than um, air quotation normal shades so that's why I put them in this small Nabla palette. These are the four shades that I picked and I actually made this, this was quite a challenge for me because I don't have that many Nabla shades so for me to actually pick four shades that work together not only in one look but two looks actually wasn't that easy and I don't have that many matte shadows and I don't have that many matte shadows that go together to be honest so I don't know I don't know what I was on when I was shopping on on Nabla's website but yeah I have not been doing smart shopping at Nabla. That's basically how I want to sum it up. So I picked these four shades and I thought this could be fun because these are two duochrome shades and two matte shades. And this is actually a red and a pink. And I thought that, that could be fun as well because these are maybe two shades that most people wouldn't match together, but I think that they go really well together. I did this look and, ow, did I just punch myself? <laughs> I did this look and then another look. As always, I do two looks with this month's quad to show you like how we can shop our stash, making looks with things that we already probably have at home and just showing new ways to combine colors and to do different techniques to make the same colors look like totally different looks. And I am not sure if any of these looks are super dramatic or super day appropriate. It's just two looks. It's just two looks and that's what it is so I'm gonna show you that next month I saw that the uh, brand that was the second picked like that came second runner-up first first runner-up that's how you say it in English that's not how you say it in Swedish uh, was Luxie so next month we're gonna do Luxie but these are the four shades that I picked I'm gonna swatch them I'm gonna let you know what they look like and I'm gonna let you know like how to spot similar shades in your collection because the point of this whole series is not about you going out and buying these four shades. This is about me finding shades within my collection that I can match together and if you don't happen to have any of these shades in your collection and you actually do want to go out and buy this quad, at least it's from one brand so you don't have to go and order from several different places. It makes it a bit more easy. Um, so I'm going to explain them. I'm also going to put the explanation down in the description box if you want to have that in hand like in front of you when you go looking throughout your own stash to find similar shades. And if you do recreate my looks or do something with this month's quad, I would love to see you tag me in it. I love watching your creations. You are so good with makeup. I love seeing your creations. So let's just start with this first uh, duochrome shade. Ugh, that is Madre Perla. This is a pinky duochrome with like a beige gray base. And uh, this is what I have. Doggy is being a monster. This is what I have in the middle of my lid today. It is, like I said, a pink duochrome with a gray beige um, base. It is very similar to Makeup Geek's Mood Ring or Makeup Geek's um, Rockstar, if you have those. But this is more like Mood Ring than Rockstar because it is very pigmented uh, compared to Rockstar. But it's a very, very pretty and unique shade. And it is, like I told you, in the latest Luxor reveal is one of those duochrome shadows that is a duochrome but not super bright. If you're afraid of bright colors and still want to try duochrome, this could be a good color for you. So like I said, that is Madre Perla. The next color is one of the most unique shades that I own in my collection and this is one of the shades that I mentioned when I did a video of the most unique single eyeshadows and this is Alchemy and this is their special formula. It is a duochrome formula that is very glittery and I have only seen this kind of formula within one other brand and that is Luxie. Luxie has similar shades to not this particular shade but similar um, structure like Juice has this structure and Rage also has this glittery duochrome structure. So this is Alchemy and it is a teal purple duochrome. It is very pretty and it works best with some like fixing spray but this is super pretty. So this is what I have I hope you can see. Oh, it's so pretty. 
I'm gonna show you my finger instead so you can see. So this is what I have under my eyes in the look that you see now. Hope you can see both shades here. That was awkward, but I hope you can see it. So that is what I have under my eyes today. And it's a very pretty shade. I'm just using some paper because I'm, I'm classy. You know, other people use those fancy expensive makeup wipes. I just use paper. <laughs> So this is the first matte. This is circle. This is basically like bueno fresco. Buen, bueno fresco? You know the one in the modern renaissance. Uh, it is a like a dusty pinky matte. Like almost with that mauve undertone. This is, I think that this is a pretty shade. So that is what that one looks like, and it's what I have in my crease today. It's what I have in the crease in the other look as well. It is a perfect transition shade if you don't want to go peachy or orange or brown. A mauve um, pinky shade like this is perfect then. This is the last shade, and it's called Fahrenheit, and this is like a muted red matte. So this is not like one of those super bright reds that you see. This is more muted. Um, I don't know how to explain really. This swatches horribly. Um... Thank God it works better on the eyes. Oh, this is one of those mattes that do not swatch very good, but at least you can see now what it looks like. So this is a very fun and unique quad, and this was really hard for me as well to come up with. But I think that this is a fun quad, and I hope that you will get some inspiration from this and from these looks. And I know that this maybe is a bit muted for being like a summer look, but it's like a sultry, colorful, but not too bright summer night look right <laughs> you are going to recognize look number one as well because i've had it in videos that you have already seen but yeah that was the look for this month do let me know how you feel about this combo i am thinking about something really tropical for june when i'm going to go into my looks singles and i have so many looks and singles to choose from so it's going to be so much fun do let me know if there's any specific colors you would like me to include and i'll i'll take it into consideration but let's just get into look number one Okay, time for look number one with these shadows. I'm gonna start with Circle, which is this uh, mauve one here. Is it called Circle? Yes, it is. I'm not the best at these shades, and this one is called Fahrenheit, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna start with these two mattes in my crease. I'm gonna try and do kind of a smoky crease with these shadows, but maybe not super dark, but still like really smoke them out. Why did I put the brushes all over here? Come back. And then I'm gonna put that duochrome teal purple shade on my lip. As you can see, I'm just going in with a really fluffy brush and just really blowing this out in the crease, trying to get some extra color within the like the absolute crease, like the fold, but then just blowing it out all over the crease, almost all the way to my brow bone, just leaving a little gap so that I can have something, a beginning of a smoky thing like this. That's where I'm leaving that right now. I'm now going in with the Fahrenheit shade and I'm just gonna do the same procedure but a bit lower so the dark red shade fades into the grayish mauve. I'm also gonna put this on the lid so that I can layer the duochrome shade on top of this. That gives a nice effect when you're using duochromes to layer them on top of different kinds of shadows. So now it's looking something like this and I think it's time for me to smudge some of that red under my eyes as well. I'm just going to finish up with the matte shades before I go in with the shimmery ones. So I'm just putting the red shade under my eyes and then I'm going to smudge the lower side, like the lower edge of this with that mauve shade. You don't always have to put the lighter shade first if you don't want to, if you don't want to layer them. Sometimes it's actually easier to get a full opaque color of the dark one if you start out with that it's like instead of layering it on top of other shades it all depends on what look you're doing and if you feel sometimes like you're not getting the full opacity of a matte shade try not layering them on top of the lighter shades instead using the lighter shade to like soften up the edge afterwards that could help if you're feeling like a shade isn't really performing the way you think it should. Now we're going to go in with this shimmery one that is called Alchemy. I have used this on my channel before. It is a purple teal duochrome. 
super beautiful and I am going to take this on the flat brush and I am going to spray the brush a bit because that's how you get the duo chrominess to really do its best so to say. This is also a very glittery formula from Nabla that really benefits from being a bit wet so it doesn't crumble all over the place. But it is a very beautiful color nonetheless. So I'm taking it all the way from my inner corners, up in the lid, like meeting the crease and all the way to the outer corners and just packing and working it in and then I'm just gently dragging a bit into the crease to make it not look too sharp and just padding over the line because I don't want it to look like a cut crease I want it to look somewhat smooth just putting a bit extra on to make sure that I really got the effect that I want And then I'm brushing a bit of the fallout away and this is what we're left with. And I think it's beautiful and the duochrome really comes out. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye as well and then we're gonna do a bit with the inner corner. But this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna put on some mascara and a little bit of liner and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the look with mascara. I'm gonna put some Prance by Colourpop on because I feel like some of the blue from the lid could be picked up on the waterline and that would be really pretty. Now I'm going to use the last and fourth shade that is called Madre Perla. I'm going to use that on a pencil brush and I am going to spray it a bit and use it in my inner corners and blend it a bit in as well because it's a beautiful like pink duochrome and I thought that that would be very pretty as an inner corner that's just not too bright but still something shimmery. So before I put the lashes on, I'm going to do a bit of lipstick. This is one of the new Ultra Satin Lips by Colourpop. It is in Gifted and it's like a berry tone and it's very pretty. I've used it once before and it's like this color. I think it's coming off a bit more red on camera than it is in real life. It is a bit more purple. I'm going to put this on and I'll be right back. And you know what? I'll put the lashes on as well. Uh, I'm gonna use the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. Okay, so that is the finished look. This is how it looks with the lashes on. This is the first look with this month's quad. So excited. I do realize that this is kind of a dramatic look, but it's still not super out there, right? Maybe it is. I think this is fun though, and I love the mix with purple, blue, and red. Or maybe like mauve, blue, and red. Maybe more like that, and some pink. I really like it anyways. Let's just get into look number two. Okay, time for look number two with this little quad here. And today I'm gonna do a halo eye and I'm gonna show you like, I have done this before, but I'm gonna show you again a way to really take advantage of a duochrome shade that isn't totally opaque and how you can make a halo eye extremely interesting just by using two different shades, to be honest, just because the duochrome shade will look a bit different depending on what like background you put it on put it on I'm gonna start with the circle just to put that a bit in the crease and then I'm gonna start building up the halo eye with this Fahrenheit so starting with just the crease I'm going in with the Sigma E25 blending I know I am horrible at saying like what brushes I use but this one is included in the set that I have with Sigma and there's actually only a few left like the set is about to sell out so for the second time <laughs> which is so weird so if you were interested in grabbing a set um i'm not sure if they will be restocking after it sells out this time to be honest so this might be your last chance as you can see i'm putting a bit where i want the halo eye to be later on but i'm also putting it in the crease just blending it up a bit trying to be not too broad in my movements but still building it up a bit because I have a lot of lid space and I like when eyeshadows go up a bit that's my personal preference so I'm going to leave it looking something like this and then I'm going to go in with the red afterwards and now I'm taking Fahrenheit on this E45 taper blending by Sigma also in my set and I am going to build this on the outer part of the 
lid and the inner part of the lid gently blending it upwards but not so much in the crease just mainly deepening up the sides and blending it out but not too much up in the crease and I'm also like you know when you're leaving it a blank in the middle I'm gonna put a little red in the middle and leaving it just a little blank I'm gonna show you why when we come to the dual chrome sheet so I'm just dotting on the color gently blending the edges making this halo eye come together taking this short shader E20 from Sigma also in my set I'm basically using my set for this um, look and I'm just gonna spray the pink mother perla shade which is the pink duochrome and I'm gonna put that here in the middle and I'm also gonna layer that a bit over the red that I put down since this is not a hundred percent opaque it is gonna layer and make it deeper over the red and lighter over the skin color enabling you to make it look like you have several different shades on your lid even though you only have three so this is the look right now and i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna use the uh, the prance liner again from colourpop just showing you how this could be good for this look as well and also showing you a different way of using duochrome shades since i'm using two duochrome shades i'm gonna use this in my waterline and i'm also gonna smudge it under my eyes to get something for the blue shade to grab onto Having different colored bases on a duochrome shadow is the best way of making them pop and for making them shift in different ways because it all depends on what you put under them. So now that I've smudged that in my waterline and under my eyes as well, now I'm gonna go in with this alchemy again. Stop it, stop it. So rude. This one again and I'm gonna take this on the pencil brush and I'm gonna spray the pencil brush and I'm gonna put that over the blue and just smudge it down a bit to make it even more tense and to make it pull even more blue. Now time for mascara so I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna find some kind of lippy and I'll be right back. Okay so that is the look right now and to be honest this one looks really good with just lashes but like just mascara but I love false lashes so I'm gonna put some on. First of all I'm First, I'm gonna do a lippy. I bought this one. This is one of the new colors from H&M Beauty. Why is it so dark? Is it supposed to be this dark? Is it very dark? Like... I'll just scooch in. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not that good with cameras and I don't really know why it's so dark. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe I'm blind and I can't see in the viewfinder. This is... Oh, oh boy, that is a hard name. Wait, wait, wait. Soy... Soy ne? What? So, soine. I'll leave it down in the description box together with all of the other things that I used. Uh, it is one of the new colors by H&M Beauty. I'm also going to use this BFF liner by Colourpop. I don't think this is the right color though. Dog is waking up <laughs> if you're wondering what's happening. But it's the closest one I have. This is a cream lipstick in a like a very creamy formula. I love the H&M cream lipsticks in a beige that's cool tone. I have used this and it's absolutely, I can't even speak, that's how absolutely stunning it is. So first I'm gonna line my lips and then I'm gonna put that on. Hmm, it really does match the lip liner quite well. I didn't think it would. I love this lip color. It's so pretty, it's like, mm. I just love it. Can't can't stop looking at it. It's not my new favorite. It's everything I ever wanted in a I don't even know if it's cool tone or it's more neutral toned beige, not too light, neutral, creamy, opaque, wonderful. A plus. I'm gonna put some falsies on and then we'll be uh, we'll be done. Okay, so that is the finished look. My hair is situation but I put on the regular iconics I think I told you and that's the finished look that is the second look with the monthly quad and I think I made it actually almost a bit hard on myself this month just because like I told you in the beginning I don't have that many shades from Nabla so I didn't have that much to choose from so this was actually like a like a challenge for me as well and I appreciate that the brand that was second on the list when I checked was Luxie so next month we're doing Luxie I have 
a Sicilian singles from Luxi. I want to do something tropical, so expect something tropical from July. I'm very excited. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on the tropical theme of July. And I will see you in my next video, which will be Sunday, when we will talk about the new makeup releases. Bye!